robot or a queen? I don't want to be a robot. Queen is better because I can command people. Wait, where's my crown? I chose to be queen. I'm the queen. Why are they telling me what to do? You have to complete all the tasks in order to be the real queen. But I don't want to wear my clothes upside down. It's embarrassing. You have to. Otherwise, you should have chosen to be a robot. All right, mom. I hope no one sees me like this. Why are you wearing your clothes backwards? I have to so that I can become queen. You should have chosen a robot like me. But that's going to be really hard to do. It's not that hard. How? I haven't even met him. Sarah, do you know where the palace is? Why? I want to meet the prince. Don't expect the prince to come out of the palace for you. Then how do I make him fall in love with me? Send him a love letter. Okay. Do you think it worked? Yes, it worked. That means the prince likes me, right? What? How? I almost got kicked out of school for being stupid. There's going to be a sudden test today. A sudden test? But I haven't even studied. Hurry up and do it now. Yes, sir. I hope my score will be the highest. Amara, your score is 20. Did he just say my score is 20? Oh my gosh, that's really low, sir. Please let me fix this. Actually, your score is the highest. All kids got zero. Huh? Yes, finally. Three tasks completed. I heard the fourth task is the hardest. Really? If you fail, you can die. What? What? I wonder what my next task is. I hope it's not too hard. Select remaining time. What does this mean, mom? So the government gives you a chance to choose your remaining life. My remaining time? Yes, you have to choose over 80 years, okay? Let your life be Okay, long. mom, I'll select a lot of years. Wait, should I choose a lot of years now or should I choose 10 years and increase it later? I don't think I need to stress because I'm still young. So how many years did you choose, honey? I chose 10 years, mom. Why only 10 years? You know that means you'll die at 18, right? I think we should have another child, one who will live a longer life. Okay, sure, you're right. We should have another child. I only have seven days left, meaning next week I'm gonna die. Amara, quickly go wash your clothes, right now. I'm sick and tired of you telling me to do everything. I can't wait till next week. At least I won't be your maid anymore. Mom, I'm going to school, okay? No, you can't go to school. Why do you even want to go? It's pointless. But mom, I want to see my friends. Just let her go. She's already cleaned the whole house. Okay, fine. You can go. Amara, you're here? Yes, my mom finally let me come. Oh yeah, by the way, how much time do you have? Only seven more days. Is there no other way to extend your time? I don't think there is one. I don't even know why I picked 10 years. I was young and stupid. Right, you were only a child. You didn't think straight. Mom, I'm home. Why isn't mom here? Hi, sis. Why are you home? Shouldn't you be in school? I skipped. Skipping again? Yes, why? You're crazy. You still have 80 years left and you're skipping school. I wish I could live longer so I could go to school. Not everyone wishes that. I wish I had a shorter life. My sister's so weird. She has a long life. Why does she want to shorten it? Swap remaining time with sis? I got a choice to exchange my remaining time with you. Yeah, I also got that choice. Press yes. You want to live long and I don't. Why don't you want to live long? Because... Because I have cancer. Cancer? Yes, the doctor said I would live for 80 years, but I don't want to live while I'm sick. Why didn't you tell us? You know how our parents are. They're obsessed with my future, and I don't want to let them down. Please, let's just exchange. But she's mom's favorite child. If she knows, she'll hate me. Please, Amara. Okay, okay. I'll exchange my remaining time with you. Really? Thank you so much. Let's see what will happen. Switch bodies with sister or soulmate. My sister doesn't really take showers anymore, so I'm going to pick soulmate. Whoa, this is my soulmate's body? She's so beautiful. Amara, go to the principal's office now. Her name is Amara? Look, the nerd is here. Are you talking about me? Yeah, you have a problem? Tell us now. Why are they like this? Hey, do my homework. Why are you giving it to me? Did you forget our agreement? Huh? Agreement? If you don't want to do my homework, I'm going to tell my dad to remove you from the school. I'm not going to do it. 
So all this time my soulmate's been treated like this? Why don't you want to do my homework? Because I just don't. You'll regret that. Wow, Amara's brave now. Are you the one who tore Sarah's uniform? What? No. Yeah, she did, miss. She tore my uniform. <sighs> Stop lying. You're only angry because I didn't do your homework. Amara, I believe Sarah. You ripped her uniform. No, I didn't. Why are you speaking to me like that? I'm your teacher. Why are you treating your students so badly? You are believing her over me. You're brave. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson. What are you going to do? Amara, there's a handsome guy looking for you. He's at the canteen. Mom, what are these choices above my head? You have to choose between eating a shrimp and taking out your ponytails. I'm allergic to shrimp, so I'll choose to let go of my ponytails. You can't, honey. They're magic ponytails from our ancestors. If you let go, bad things will happen, so just eat the shrimp. Okay, Mom. Oh, look, it's the blind girl with the ponytails. I know, right? She never does any other Are you not tired of talking about me all the time? Hey, the blind girl has the courage to answer now. Class, we will hold a poetry reading competition next week. Can I join, sir? How are you going to join? You're blind. You can't read. I can memorize it. I'm sorry, Amara, but you can't take part in this competition. But, sir! It's a shame. You're no use to the school. Why am I blind? Why can't I just be like the other kids at school? Hello, excuse me. I'm new. Do you know where the library is? Uh, it's in... I'm sorry. I didn't know you were blind. That's okay. I'm Chris, by the way. I'm Amara. Look, it's the blind girl. Let's have some fun. Hey, pony. Give hey. it back. It's right here. Take it. <laughs> She's so stupid. Hey, stop. You guys are really mean. Who the hell are you? You don't need to get involved. He's kind of handsome, you know. Do you want to be friends? I don't want to be friends with evil people like you. Ugh, he's so arrogant. Amara, let's go. Thanks, Chris, for helping me. That's okay. I'm your new friend after all. Wow, I have a friend. You really don't have any other friends? No, they all think I'm weird because I'm blind. They call me Blind Pony. Calm down. From now on, I'll always be on your side. My throat feels weird. What's wrong? Because my mom made me eat shrimps and I'm allergic to it. It was either that or I had to let go of my ponytails. Why don't you let it loose? She says something bad will happen if I do. I'm curious, why don't we try to remove the ponytails? No, we can't do that. That's risky. What if you're blind because of the ponytails? What? No, that's crazy. I've been blind ever since I was a child, Chris. But you've also had those ponytails since you were oh, a child. Oh, you're right. Just take them off, Amara. I'll take care of you. I guess it's worth a try. I guess it's worth it. Chris? Amara, can you see? Yes, I never thought I'd be able to see again. But it's weird. Why has my mom made me blind all this time? There must be a reason. Did your mom ever give you anything else? Mom makes me apple juice every day, but it tastes weird. Well, make sure you don't drink that apple juice anymore. We don't know what's behind all of this. Okay, Chris. Mom, I'm home. Honey, I missed you. You didn't take off your pigtails, did you? No, Mom. Good, honey. Honey, I made you apple juice. Drink it. Okay. Hurry up. It will soon be afternoon. Mom, I'm going to a friend's house, okay? Be careful. Did you drink the apple juice? Yes, Mom. Look, there's the blind girl again, but why is her hair down? Hey, guys, I can finally see you. Why aren't you blind? I'm normal now. Oh, so you've been fooling us all this time? Yeah, she only did it for the attention. You freak. Chris, where are you? Hey, Amara, sorry I'm late. Are you okay? What's that drink? This is the apple juice I've been talking about. I've been drinking it ever since I was a kid. That doesn't seem like apple juice to me. The color is off. What color is apple juice supposed to be like? Yellowish. From now on, you have to be careful with your mom. Come to my house. I want you to meet my dad. Okay. Dad, this is my friend. Do you know what that drink is? Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... This drink is prohibited. It cannot be drunk. There used to be only one person who could make this drink. People tried to get the recipe, but it was impossible. Why was it impossible? May I know what your mom's name is? Grace. Grace? She was my father's assistant. She's the only one who can make that potion. 
The effect of that potion made people forget their memories. Then what should we do, Dad, so that her memory can come back? You have to make your mom drink this. Once she does, you'll get your memory back. Okay, I'll go give my mom the drink now. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Honey, where were you? I went to a friend's house. Friend? Yes, I brought you this drink. They said it's very good for the health. Okay, I'll drink it. You really think I'm this stupid? I know what you're up to. You're trying to trick me. Mom, you should drink from that bottle now. Who gave you this? Answer me. From now on, you can't go anywhere. You know what? You're the reason I'm blind. Why are you so mean to me? I'm your daughter. You asked too many questions. Come with me. <laughs> Let go of me. This is the only way I can keep you from going out ever again. I have to call Chris. Hello, Chris. My mom locked me up. Okay, Amara, I'm coming there right now. Okay, I'm waiting. Amara? Chris? Hey, who's this? Grace. You? What are you doing here? Put an end to what you've done and drink from the bottle I gave to your daughter before I call the police. Okay, I'm gonna drink from it now. Amara, what's wrong with you? I remember everything. You're not my mom. Mom, what choices did I get? Your choice is to take off your ponytails or your lipstick. Okay, I'll remove my lipstick. You can't. Bad things will happen if you remove it. Okay, Mom. Look, the blind girl. Yeah, that lipstick looks so ugly on Are you guys not tired of bullying me? Hey, the blind girl has the courage to answer now. <laughs> Class, we will hold a poetry reading competition. I want to join. You're blind. How are you going to read? Sir, don't let her. Amara, from now on, you don't have to join reading class. It's useless. Yeah, you. but... Actually, we're ashamed to have people like you in our class. Why do I have to be blind? Why can't I be the same as the other kids? Hello, excuse me. I'm new here. I wanted to ask where the library is. In, uh... Uh, sorry, you can't see, right? Yes, I'm blind. Oh, okay. I'm Ryan, by the way. I'm Amara. Look, the blind girl's here. Let's bully her. Hey, red lip, confused, right? Give Where it back, gone? please. Here, take it. You're stupid anyway. Guys, stop bullying her. Who the hell are you? Why are you getting involved? Actually, he's handsome. Why don't you introduce yourself? I don't want to be friends with mean girls like you. You're so arrogant. Let's just go. Thanks, Ryan, for helping. Welcome, Amara. I'm your friend after all. Wow, I finally have a friend. You don't have any friends at school? No, they all think I'm weird because I'm wearing red lipstick. They call me red lip. Why are you wearing it anyway? You're beautiful without it. Just remove it. Mom says bad things will happen if I do. I feel like there's something weird about that lipstick, don't you? Maybe that's why you're blind. No way. I've been blind since childhood, Ryan. But you've also worn that lipstick since childhood. Oh. You're right. Just remove it. Don't be scared. Okay, I'll remove it now. A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it, it's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party. But if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth. But I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir. This is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't to this house. 
Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to me? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Did you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good, now let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir, I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on. Just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir. I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Uh... Oh, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir. I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Uh... Jenny's house. As I expected, because my house is better than yours. But, sir! Okay, everyone. Get ready. We'll meet at Jenny's house tonight at 8pm. One more thing, sir. I don't want Amara to come to my house. But I'm also a part of your class. When I say no, it means no. Amara, don't make this a big deal. Just listen to Jenny. It's her house after all. Okay, sir. How dare Jenny not let me go to the class sleepover? Why don't you just go regardless? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're Jenny's best friend. And if you really liked me, you wouldn't even go to the sleepover. You know what? You're right. Why don't you replace me at the sleepover? Replace you? But won't Jenny be angry? She won't be angry, because if there's one less person, she won't be able to do the sleepover. Oh, I see. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I said you couldn't come, plus there's no one here yet. What happened to your house? I don't know, I just got here and found it like this. Someone must have came to mess it up. It was you, wasn't it? Me? What? No! This whole place is a mess. What am I gonna do? Jenny, we're here. Open the door. Do not even think about it. I'm going to count to three and you have to open the door. One, two, three. 